Hey, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get to drawing. Gorilla with a chin strap. Okay. Find a good gorilla face. I like these two. Hmm. Go ahead and look at this one. Okay. So this is one of those that's mostly going to be black is helpful. Want to go ahead and get his brow in here. Make sure I have enough room for his chin, which is important. Go ahead and put this shape in just so I can get the scale right. Go ahead and get to drawn fur. Basically, the chin strap will kind of be like an afterthought. It's not going to take too much time, so I'm going to focus on describing the gorilla. I'm working kind of up from the black. I'm probably going to have to go back and forth a lot since I want the fur to blend nicely. So it will require softening some of the edges. So I'm going to be going from dark to light to back. I'm going to get these nostrils in so that I can work around them too. As well as the mouth. It's kind of looking a little happier than I thought he would. Okay. Get some of the highlights on his nose. Already pretty low on time. Do you want to get his eyes in here? It's a decent size. Looks crazy. Some of these subtle lights under his eyes, too. Kind of widespread eyes. More widespread than they should be, but it's kind of how he's turning out. 
a little bit chubbier than he should. Okay, I'm gonna get some good browns in here too. Gonna have to put in that chin strap soon. I'm gonna do a few more colors. Always gotta do the highlights. Okay, so chin strap. Might be time for that. I think I do want to make sure I get those in. Okay, so a chin strap kind of looks like this, right? It's going to be going in and out of his fur. Okay. 